and welcome to the update of the fourth week of schools rugby in the Singer A Division League. Uh, we had uh, St. Peter's and Wesley College holding on to their positions in the third week at one and two. And we had uh, Trinity College and Dharmaraja College also unbeaten teams at three and four. So this uh, weekend is going to be or was going to be uh, one of those uh, real weekends where you see uh, one of those teams at the top four falling and one of, and one of those or two of those teams uh, rather falling and two of those teams uh, going up so it was just going to be a question of who that was going to be uh, when it came into uh, the fourth week of uh, the Singer A Division League. Uh, we have of course the first game which was a bottom of the table clash, well not bottom but middle of the table clash between St. Anthony's and St. Joseph's and unfortunately for both schools and more so for St. Joseph's who were really expecting a win in this Antonian encounter, uh, they had to be satisfied with just about 57 minutes of rugby. Referee Dimitra Gunasekara really unfortunately had to uh, call the game off with less than an hour played because it was getting so dark. Unfortunately the match also started late uh, because there was such a downpour up in uh, Bogambara but uh, when the conditions are unsafe for players referees have got to call off games and if it's called off in the second half uh, then the result stands. So it was a seven all draw at that time. You can't blame either of the teams uh, because the conditions were just not uh, suitable for players kicking at the same time not good for running rugby. So the fact that they managed to score uh, two tries and get points on the board either side uh, is I think testament to the fact that they were trying to uh, eke out a win in these trying conditions but unfortunately for St. Joseph's this means that what they would have considered a winnable game at the beginning of uh, beginning of the season turned out to be a draw for them so that's crucial points lost uh, for them in the uh, in the up uh, in the lead up to this uh, to this uh, mid-table finish that they are expecting. Our second game for the weekend was going to be the one between Dharmaraja and Kingswood, an all-candy clash up in Bogambara as well. Kingswood still looking for a win in uh, this season's uh, encounters, but unfortunately this was not the weekend that they were going to get that one. Dharmaraja scoring uh, three tries in a 33-point display to a 24-point uh, comeback by uh, Kingswood College. A 33-24, pretty comfortable win uh, for the Dharmaraja boys, who I haven't seen yet, unfortunately. I really would like to see this Dharmaraja team in action champions of the B Division last year, unbeaten so far this year in the A Division, drawing that match against Unity College. Let's see whether that one's going to affect uh, the outcome of the championship when it's finally decided in the last week of the season. But it has looked a very, very good side uh, so far, at least on paper. I really need to analyze and see where these guys are as good uh, as they seem to be from all the results that they're, they're eking out. But the 33 points to 24, they're scoring points. But again, like I said last week about Trinity, they are also conceding points uh, than Maraja. So that means that their defense is something that needs to be uh, looked at. A lot of the teams seem to be concentrating a lot on offense these days. And when you get good ball carriers, you find that they're not actually good defensive ball players as well. When you take uh, players like Anurag Herat, for instance, uh, you look at him and he's just a ball carrier, whereas number eight, he's also supposed to be one of the best defensive players on that team. Uh, whereas you look at guys like Single Action for Trinity College and uh, he's carrying the ball well, uh, but at the same time he's doing a lot of work defensively, in fact foremost a defensive player. Uh, so uh, there is this balance that I think the back row players especially need to find, which I don't think the coaches are managing to find in, uh, in this uh, particular season of schools rugby. We had then the, the clash of the Titans of course, Trinity College versus St. Peter's College on Sunday from the Bumble, on Saturday rather, uh, from the Bumblepitya grounds and that was expected to be a tight clash. I was talking to Midinda Gunavadana uh, from uh, the score a little while uh, when, before he was doing his match report before kickoff and he said, what do you think is going to happen mate? And I said, Trinity is going to win this one easy and this is after I had seen uh, St. Peter's play Royal College and also seen Trinity play against uh, St. Thomas's and losing that match. There was always going to be a backlash from a good side, a good structured side who are well coached in Neil Footy, Neil Fahey, Brian, Sean, Vijay Singer. Uh, these guys know exactly what they're doing. So I was going to uh, be fearful for St. Peter's because that backlash was going to come. Tarindra Ratwat, they had the terrible game against St. Thomas's. He's too good a player to have two bad games in a row, so he was always going to come storming back. And that's exactly what happened at the uh, Bambalipitiya grounds. And the match ended up being a 35-25 win. And at one point, uh, Trinity were leading quite comfortably at about 28 points to 15. Uh, so that's what uh, we got to expect from that uh, St. Peter's College team who seemed to have only one uh, option and that was give the ball to Anuradha and let him try to do something. They have a very good centre as well in Pereira whom they didn't use. He scored a magnificent try early on in the game but unfortunately he didn't have the ball in his hand much uh, for the rest of the game. Kevin Dixon also was a guy who can really do some counter-attacking running when, he's, uh, when he has the ball in his hands but unfortunately he 
was not able to join the line as much as he would like as well. So the Trinity and defense, especially that third row, I thought was really outstanding. We had Palga good at blind side flank. Uh, we had single Akhtasuna on the open side flank and Ashan Pereira at number eight. I thought they did brilliant jobs uh, in defense particularly, not so much in carrying the ball because they didn't need to. Uh, but the fact is that their defensive game was really outstanding and they managed to stop Anuradha in his tracks. But for me, the man of the match uh, at that game was Naresh Pereira coming back into the side after being rested uh, for the last game against St. Thomas's, he came back and showed his coach why he should never be dropped again uh, because he sidestepped the entire uh, uh, St. Peter's defensive line to score the first try early on in the game and really dropped the heads of the uh, of the Peter Wrights and managed to lift the uh, spirits of the Trinitians who also suffered a loss uh, the week before. So the fact is that he managed to inject that much needed pace into uh, the attack from behind, from uh, on on the base of the scrum and the base of the breakdown as well. And what he was also doing brilliantly was he was snuffling Anuradha Herath as soon as he was trying to break with the ball off the back. And you could see that that was pretty much the way in weapon uh, that the Peter Rice were relying on. Anuradha breaking off the base and Naresh Pereira was getting him before he was able to make any ground at all. So that was the problem for the Peter Rice. They, their plan A failed and they found out they didn't have a plan B or C. One thing, of course, that I must comment on about both teams, despite the fact that Trinity won it quite comfortably, scoring 35 points, uh, the fact is that, uh, and they scored five tries, mind you, in uh, that 35 points, despite the fact that they scored five points, I don't think they won more than two lineouts of their own ball. It was just an unacceptable performance by Sakhal Suri and the rest of his jumpers. Uh, the boy really needs to uh, needs to be spoken to. He needs to be practicing a lot against, throwing against a solitary post, uh, because there's no excuse uh, for losing as much lineout ball as uh, they did in that game. St. Peter's winning a lot of those lineouts as well, but unfortunately not able to do as much with turnover ball as they would have liked. Uh, Sean Virakoli playing in the uh, number 9 position, coming in from the number 10 position. That was a move that didn't pay off well for St. Peter's either because they had Bura coming into the number 10 position and uh, he really slowed the attack down. And when Jerome and Ranchigoda and Direx were looking dangerous, they should have just been giving more of the ball to them. But unfortunately, what happened was the ball was getting stuck uh, between 9, 10 and 12 and uh, that was the end of that for St. Peter. So a convincing win uh, and uh, St. Uh, Trinity College remain unbeaten. St. Peter suffering their first defeat and dropping down the table. We'll analyze the uh, table for you at the end of uh, this roundup as well. We had another big game expected against another unbeaten team, Wesley College taking on Royal at their home grounds and unfortunately for Wesley their unbeaten run came to an end as well. Uh, they thought they were going to win of course at half time, 12 points to 7 was the score and Royal were not looking fantastic but Royal have started proper conditioning now and they're looking in much better shape and they managed to storm back in the second half and win by 31 points to 12 and they managed to score four tries in that performance as well. So that's something that uh, Royal will be happy about. They haven't been a very try-scoring team and uh, they have been uh, traditionally a team that uh, bundles uh, forward through their forwards and uh, that's exactly what happened. They had used the hits nicely. Uh, they've got the pods positioned nicely in midfield as well and using the blind side uh, intelligently also and that's what uh, Royal have been doing. They've been playing a very intelligent game within the limited uh, talent that they have available to them. So Rimzi Jamaldin keeping his team on the front foot, keeping those big forwards going forward and uh, that's when they're the most dangerous. So they're playing good tactical games and uh, looks like Royal will be a force to reckon with in the second half of the season as well. So Wesley suffering their defeat, uh, their first defeat of the season. Once again, is this going to be the beginning of a little bit of a tailspin uh, for Wesley College? Is this going to be uh, where their season sputters a little bit? That's what they've got to ask themselves. Are they having enough recovery time in between practices? Are they having enough recovery time in between matches? Are they doing the right things to recover? Uh, or are they going to be another first half team in uh, the next uh, upcoming week as well? So that's something they've got to ask themselves. I certainly hope not because they play some fantastic rugby. They've got some great speed from 1 through 15 and uh, they are not afraid to throw the ball around but the problem with that game is whether you can last 80 minutes uh, playing it against sides that uh, read it and read it well and, um, and I have the talent to bring you back in, uh, in your 22 for most of that game. Uh, we also had another match between Science College and Isipathana. Isipathana once again succumbing to their fourth defeat in as many tries and Science College beating them quite comprehensively by 25 points to 16. Science having Richard Dhammapala coming back of course uh, into their lineup and they're always happy to have the Sri Lanka uh, youth player back in their lineup. He's a captain now after being a star player for them for about three or four years now and uh, he was instrumental in uh, inflicting that defeat on the defending champions. 
huge problems in the Sipatana camp, of course. Hiranta Pereira and Milita Taranath, the rumor has it uh, that these two guys are not getting on as well as they should. And uh, that is really affecting the rest of the team as well. They have the under-18 skipper coming through to captain the team in this game. So real problems uh, off the field for Isipatana as well, which are reflecting on the field. So that's something that Shamli Nawaz and the rest of his uh, Isipatana uh, rugby advisory board or whatever they have running rugby they really need to sit down and uh, solve the problem i think if if teams are bad eggs even if they're good if some players in, in the team are bad eggs even if they're good players they need to get rid of them and get younger players in because this part and i have no uh, no depth uh, at the moment with uh, with these players uh, hogging these places and still not playing well so it might be better even for them to bring in some young talent into the side and hope that they will gain the experience that they need because it looks very much like they will be dropping down uh, to the B division if things continue this way they'll probably need to win all the rest of their matches if they are to stay up in uh, the A division this time and that looks very very unlikely so the table at the moment uh, we said that St Peter's had stayed uh, at uh, and Wesley had stayed where they were last week well they fell uh, this week suffering two defeats both of those teams and now we have Trinity College and Dharmaraja at the top of the leaderboard. Dharmaraja winning a little bit too narrowly against Science College last week and also not smashing uh, Kingswood as hard as they would have liked. So Trinity College have scored more tries and scored more bonus points which means they are on top but both teams unbeaten mind you and I think teams like uh, Royal College can really make a big dent in either of these teams armories the, the matches between royal and trinity royal and uh, dhammaraja are going to depend entirely on who wins uh, the championship i think royal could be one of those giant killers as well in the upcoming uh, week so we have st peter's and wesley falling to third and fourth position science maintains their position at uh, number five and then we have royal college and joseph st anthony's kingswood and isipatana bringing up the rear so we've got some very interesting matches of course coming up as well uh, we've got in the next week we've got st peter's playing dhammaraja and we'll be looking to hand them their first defeat up in candy i'll be very surprised if st peter's does manage to uh, inflict that defeat on uh, dhammaraja it looks very much like anurag herat's injury also will force him not to practice uh, for much uh, much of the week uh, but if he's back uh, in the playing 15 then he will be a lone man battle against Amaraja and if Amaraja managed to get good ball I think it could be a curtains for the St. Peter's College team. The Amaraja versus St. Peter's match, the other one that's going to have a lot of effect on the top of the table is going to be the one versus Wesley and Trinity. So Wesley having lost for the first time last week, Trinity remaining unbeaten. Those are the two teams that will be wanting to maintain their unbeaten tag Trinity and Amaraja and Wesley and St. Peter's will be the ones who try to retake the number one and two positions in the table at the end of this week. We also have St. Joseph's who will play Isipatana Science, who will play Kingswood in what is promising to be an entertaining encounter, high scoring encounter. And St. Anthony's will play Royal in uh, a match that will see Theo Seraphim returning uh, to uh, the team that he used to coach, a team that he will probably know pretty well and he will know Royal's philosophy. So there might be a little bit of an upset there, you never know. So that's something that we have to look forward to as well. Although Royal are favourites, St. Anthony's might just turn the tables because they have been a continuously improving team after being pretty awful in the first couple of weeks of the uh, Singer A Division League. They have improved in leaps and bounds. So that's the week five action that we have to look forward to. You can join us on www.thescore.lk for all the live action. And of course, we'll bring you the uh, roundup of the uh, week five action uh, next week.